Well, today is the day, the day that we are upgrading our headquarters to level 18. So let's go ahead and do a lot of boosts while we take on Dr. Terra on the 23rd of August. So of course, we are definitely going to be having to boost our resource reward masterpiece. I'll also go ahead and get my attacking statues up there as well because they'll no doubt be needed for that extra loot. Um, you know what, my gunboat energy as well, we are going all out today. Uh, I won't boost my gunboat energy guardian just yet, but I'll definitely do the resource reward. That's at 15 to 30%. And we'll also get the troop damage. I might as well... I'll leave that at that. I'll probably upgrade or boost both those guardians later though. I would not be surprised, but let's go ahead. I also want to just quickly check out... We've got five power powder left, so we're well within our means to boost those guardians. So let's go take on... Dr. Terra on the Volcano Island. Now, first stage, you know what we are going to do? We are going to drop our guys on the very right hand side and just get as much gunboat energy as we possibly can. I'm just going to send all my guys in just to do this a little bit quicker. But for those of you that don't have as many warriors as me, I'd recommend doing the same because Dr. Terra would be super easy if you just gunboat energy harvest. Um, and then I'm going to reflare him back after they've all got as many resources and gunboat energy and all as they possibly can. I'm going to reflare them back literally on the other side of the map. So then they all, as soon as they all join together, which they sort of do, we'll go flare them onto that sniper tower. There we go. So now they're all in a row, pretty much, or at least three rows, that all join up together. Um, I'll just get rid of this boom mine, which isn't really all that necessary because I'm just going to flare these guys right onto the headquarters. And they are all good. I'll also just chuck a couple of heals. You guys can go ahead and shock though. That's what I would recommend shocking right there. But we're just we're going for that extra gunboat energy. I know there is a whole YouTube thing of people going ahead and getting as much gunboat energy as they can. Like Nick at night managed to get 300 gun compote energy once, which is pretty crazy, but I'm nowhere near that level yet. All right, so let's go check out this stage. I think what I'm going to do is, well, I don't know. We've got both of these supplies right next to each other. I really want to get rid of this shock launcher, and I think most of you guys will be able to do that with a couple of... Um, well, maybe a barrage and a couple of artillery shells. Hopefully we clear that mine out, and indeed we do. Fantastic. Uh, what I will need to do, though, is get rid of that. And I don't think I should really get rid of those supplies, though, now, to be honest. But what I will do is send in another barrage over here, just to get rid of uh, that cannon, as well as those boom mines if our guys decide to move somewhere where they shouldn't be moving to. Drop all my guys. And they're going to get anchored right over there. I'm going to go get them to destroy the shock launcher. And then we can pretty much freely move on to the headquarters. Let's just get rid of that machine gun too. But most important thing, definitely getting rid of that shock launcher. Go ahead and shock everything. One shock per building, because I'm feeling like that. We've got that extra gunboat energy. We can just go ahead and throw down some celebratory flares and all. We're feeling a little bit bored. Also, today is the 23rd of August, which means I'm pretty sure that Clash of Clans, the official Twitch channel, will be doing a Nordic type of um, Clash of Clans tournament and they'll be live streamed on Twitch so I might be live streaming on Twitch as well just to leech some viewers off them maybe we'll see uh, I, I can't say I'm too much of a fan of streaming it definitely is very time consuming because when you stream you can't really do anything else it's very um very I guess well it's time consuming but also takes a lot of energy out of you because I mean you're just sitting on your backside for a good couple of hours and you don't want to let people down just doing like a short stream so but i'm definitely thinking of streaming a little bit more especially in regards to this channel because most of you guys probably don't know that i've got two different channels and one was a lot more successful than this one 
Although the recent success of this channel is definitely pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and I'm just going to go smoke that supply just so they can anchor and we can have a good think of what we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and flare them next to the headquarters. And then as soon as they get near, I'll flare them onto the headquarters. There's a mine that will be able to get to us, but it definitely shouldn't hurt. No, it definitely doesn't. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, start shocking some things. There really isn't all that much to shock, but... Might as well even throw a heal and let's go smoke the beach. There we go. A nice pointless smoke. Alright, so that's Terra Stage 3 done on the right hand side and to the headquarters. Fairly simple. Of course, it's all going to be fairly simple with all my boots though, isn't it? Alright, now, ooh, we do have a shock launcher that's precariously close. I just went straight into attack, didn't I? Um, we do have a shock launcher which is precariously close to the beach. So we might have to take that down. I think that's probably the best strategy. Um, or we can go around to the left and gunboat energy harvest. Um, decisions, decisions. But see, you're going to have to end up shocking that shock launcher. Problem is, there's so many cannons around that are within range of that shock launcher. We're going to lose about four or five warriors before it goes down. Alright, but I'm going to the shock launcher. Alright, so what I'll do is... Oh, this really sucks though. I don't know if I should... Um, or, okay. What I'm going to do is, because these mines are so close, I'm going to just throw one artillery. That gets rid of them. And then I'll use a barrage, hopefully to get those supplies. There we go. And we got both those mines that I didn't even anticipate to get this bottom one. But that's all good. Let's go ahead and smoke the beach. At this angle, it's always very weird though when you smoke the beach. And we all make it out unscathed, but as soon as that is um, destroyed, the shock launcher, it's uh, going to be all over. In terms of some warriors' lives. One. Beautiful. I only took one hit. So how many guys did we end up losing? Just one? Oh no, we lost three, sorry. Oh. That definitely lasted a little bit uh, less that smoke than I anticipated. Let's go ahead and chuck an artillery in there as well. Yeah, that smoke definitely didn't last very long at all to me. I couldn't really decide where I wanted to shock, but... I think we did a decent job. So that is Terra Stage 4 down. I'll have to go ahead and use the power of magical editing. And uh, we'll be back with our 18 warriors very, very soon. Alright, now on to Stage 5. I think the best way for me to do this is... To go around the left hand side, not straight up the gut, because there's just too many things to clear out, especially those mines, which is pretty much the only things. Or we can go around the right hand side, but I guess if you don't do perfect smokes, you're going to lose a lot of you guys. So, I think the best way for me is to go around to the left and then onto the headquarters. I don't think we're going to go as far as these supplies though, because we're going to get attacked quite aggressively with all these cannons and all. So, I think I'll leave them alone, but let's go ahead and attack and test out how this will go. So, what I'm gonna do is just get one artillery and just destroy three supplies, which should be a great deal of help. We've got 91 gunboat energy now, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is just drop all of my guys straight up onto here, onto this flamethrower. All right. Now that flamethrower really didn't do too much damage, so that's all good news for me. I'm going to go send our guys straight in. I probably should have sent them into the supplies a little bit further on, but it's all good with me. Um, and then go ahead and smoke twice onto the headquarters. Oh, we go. We are going to lose one guy that rather stupidly runs straight into a mine. A boom mine that is, but we get a shock ready to get ready for the shock launcher. And then we go ahead and heal our guys as much as we need to. Guess we're going to lose one, two. How many guys did we lose? Two guys. So that was a very successful attack, I must say. Got a lot of um, fragments as well. 
six in total. Wow, a lot more than I expected. But we only lost two people, which I'm even more impressed by. So let's go ahead and cook those two guys up. And just quickly check out stage six if we're going to be able to do it. If I'm confident enough to do it without two of our guys. Alright, wow, this one seems like it's very easy as well. Just quickly check out this shock launcher. And thankfully, it's not within range of the headquarters. So, they've definitely gone gung-ho on the mortars and rocket launchers though. But they should be pretty easy to take care of. So, what we're going to do is just check out the health of the headquarters, which is important. 294. Alright, all I really got to watch out for is that shock launcher, but that'll be shocked. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and triple smoke the beach. And I'm going to flare the guys onto that sniper tower. Oh, I guess I didn't go to the sniper tower, which is annoying. but flare them onto the headquarters. And I guess we did lose a couple of people. I guess they went to that rocket launcher, which is annoying, very annoying. But anyway, so let's get a shock, two shocks ready in total. And that should be enough to destroy Dr. Terra fairly simply, although we are boosted to the gills. Go ahead and drop a artillery. We're gonna lose a lot of guys right now. So hopefully they can have enough damage to destroy it, and indeed they do. Not a problem, actually. Usually when, once you start losing a couple of guys, they all start dying off very, very quickly, but not this time, thankfully. We've got the guaranteed crystal as well, as well as an intel piece. Have to go ahead and get our 23 guys this time. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll be back with Terra Stage 7, the very final one, in a bit. So Terra Stage 7 looks like it is going to be one for the ages again. It seems like it's very similar to the one that we had about two weeks ago, which everyone was complaining about was a very difficult. But I like the difficult Terra Stages because after all, it's the final stage and it should be difficult, even though I've got absolutely no chance in hell. So you can either go up the guts. There's only a couple of mines, no real boom mines though. You also need to watch out. There is a sneaky mine behind this sniper tower that they've placed. Uh, but I think the best way for me is to go around the right hand side, just pick up a couple of these supplies and then move up across the map. I think that's the best way for me, but yeah, I've got no way I'm going to be able to complete this. So I'm not sure if that's the best strategy to use, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's go ahead and get um, our worries. And as you might have seen, it costs 10,000 um, gold to attack now, which means that I've leveled up to level 44, which means that I'm also going to be able to go ahead and get my headquarters to level 18 right after this. So, firstly what I'll do is I'll just use a couple of artillery shells or one on that boom mine. And then I'll try to get... So, I'm not sure how I should do this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a barrage that's a little bit to the left of the center of the headquarters. And that should... Well, that wasn't really all that good. It didn't really get rid of all the mines that I wanted, but that's life. Alright, so we're going to drop all our guys over to the right. They will hopefully go get these supplies without too many issues. Alright, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and flare them onto that rocket launcher, and we're going to smoke the way there because there's just too many different things around. Alright, they did a fairly good job. Alright, so now I'm going to flare them right onto the back of the map fairly up high as well on the map and once I get close I'm gonna smoke them all right they've done a fairly good job Ooh, I guess that wasn't the best kind of smoke all right so we've got enough gumbo energy for I think two different shocks drop them down but as you can see, we don't even get about a third of the way through. And we just get absolutely eaten up. There's no way that I'm able to do this. So I do wish you guys that are much higher than me a lot of luck because I think you'll need it. Look forward to watching some other videos of people trying to take this down. But I think it'll be like the one that we had two or so weeks ago that was very difficult. But now that I've done that, I'm able to go ahead and upgrade my headquarters. I did go ahead and uh, 
Well, let's see how much time we've got left on our masterpieces. We've got, so it took me about two hours to go ahead and get enough resources for my headquarters to level up. So let's go do that. And I might as well upgrade, I think my artillery would probably be best. I mean, I could upgrade my warriors, but they take like four days to get to work. So I think I'll do the artillery, even though I'll have a million gold left over, which means that I'm able to go ahead and uh, get some more warriors. And well, that's it for this episode. Unfortunately, we did fail stage seven like yesterday, but today was very, very difficult. I got to admit, but until next time though, guys, I'll see you later and hopefully we'll have level, well, level 18 headquarters, but I guess not level 16 warriors just yet.